The beautiful thing about gravel bikes is their versatility. Uh, you can load it down like this, take all the stuff you need for an overnight trip, or you can commute to work, um, or you can take all the bags off, throw some slicks on, ride it like a road bike. These bikes will literally eat rocks and shit diamonds. <laughs> so this is my bike. I kind of have it set up for touring or bike packing right now. It's got a handlebar bag, top tube bag for some snacks and stuff. Frame bag is usually where I keep like some of the heavier stuff. It keeps the center of gravity a little lower and then bigger light things kind of go in the back. Saddle bag, so this is kind of a custom little setup that I made. Portland Design Works bindle rack on the bottom and then I have a salsa dry bag that's actually meant for an anything cradle in the front but it clips on there pretty good. I also run my tires tubeless. find that it gives it a little better ride quality. You can run lower tire pressures without pinch flatting as well and then having that liquid sealant in there definitely um, just seals up any punctures that you might have. Lots of good side knobs on the side, but then kind of ramped ones in the middle too, so it stays pretty efficient on pavement. So this is how I would set up my bike for bike packing. Uh, if I was gonna spend the night somewhere, go on a longer trip, but if I'm just riding to work or going on a shorter ride, this is how I would set it up. So on a shorter ride or commuting to work, I typically don't need as much storage room for all that kind of stuff, so I just stick with a bar bag, I've got my camera, um, a water filter, snacks and stuff in there, um, and then just a bottle. So that way it's a little quicker, a lot lighter that way. If I don't need all that stuff, why bring it?